Macrex is the top worldwide choice for indexing professionals. It provides a comprehensive platform for creating indexes. Its features include extensive time-saving options throughout and absolute control over the final index. Hello, I'm Domi Stauber and I'm here to help you with mastering Macrex. In this video, I'll talk about duplicating parts of an existing entry. This is the one of the very powerful parts of Macrex. I rarely type anything twice because I use these tools. Many of these methods use the logical previous entry. To review, it's the top entry when you first enter add mode, or if you have just created an entry, that entry becomes the LPE and is on the second to top line. So we can see that I just got into add mode and my top entry, John Major, is darker and that's the logical previous entry. Let's create an entry to work with. I'm going to type a new entry, main headings, comma indicating a subheading and subheading and some locators. Notice that I did not need to add spaces after the comma. Uh, I'm going to press enter. Now our new entry has become the second to top line and it's the logical previous entry. Okay. So, the very simplest way to, to copy the logical previous entry is simply to press enter. And that brings that whole entry down onto the add line. I can now make changes to it and make it into a new entry. Or, I can use underline. For any heading level, I can type an underline and that heading level will come down to the add line. Let's say I have just made importance of labor community coalitions and I also want to make that same subheading for sanitation workers. So I typed my new he main heading and a comma and now I'm going to press an underline and press enter. And there's that subheading. It has come down because that the underline was in the subheading place. And here's some locators for that one. There it goes into the index in its place. It's now the logical previous entry. Okay, now my favorite method is called yank. With it, you can grab a heading or a word in the index and bring it down into your new entry on the add line or in the index. Here's how it works. With control F or F5, you highlight an entry up in the index. Here it is. Um, it's highlighted the main entry here. Then with the arrow keys, you can move around. See how I've now highlighted the locators? That was the right arrow, left arrow, down arrow. There's that main heading right arrow, right arrow, so I can highlight anything I want in here and bring it down. So let's see, um, there's that one. Let's say that I'm making a new main heading for domestic worker unions and I want to add the subheading and labor community coalitions to it. I see that that subheading happens to appear on the screen, might be because I just added it. See there, it's, um, it's line number four up there under AFL-CIO. So I've made my main heading and I'm going to go get that subheading by pressing Control F, down arrow, right arrow, enter. And there I, I have gotten my thing. Now, another thing you can do is to yank just a word. Let's find a nice complicated word. Oh yeah, let's say I have, an, I have a new confederation in, in French with the diacritics. I don't really want to type that over, but I also don't want to mess with the whole confederation française démocratique du travail. So um, I do control F and then I use F2 to toggle it to be just a word. See how it's highlighting each word? And again, I can, I can do that in any part of the entry. It, that does still get the, all the locators. So let's just go get just Confederacion. There it is. And I can 
add that to that for my new entry. Okay. Now, once you've highlighted a word or a heading to yank, you can stop there with the highlight and you can use Control C to copy it and paste it elsewhere. There are many uses for this. Again, you can use it in a heading you're making. You can also copy into the keyword uh, screen, and we'll talk about that in another video. But so just know that yank is a way to highlight something that you might want to either bring down or copy. Yank also works within an existing entry. So let's say I noticed that the subheading and international cooperation under this main heading should really be cross-national cooperation. I've seen that that's what I've used elsewhere in the, in, in the index. So um, I'm going to go up into, let's just bring it to the top here. I just used the plus key for that. Um, let's go into the, in, into the entry so that I can edit it. I did that with Escape, Enter. And um, now I'm going to delete this offending heading using Control-H. But instead of typing the new one, I see it on my screen under another main, main heading. Here it is way down there under Service Employees International. So I, I did Control-F for Yank. And there's my highlight. I'm going all the way down here. And now I press Enter. And there it is in my heading on the screen. Press Enter, and now there it is. Okay. Two other very useful commands are flip and half flip. If my logical previous entry is a main heading with a subheading, I can double post the entry with one keystroke. So let's go into Add mode so that I'm ready to add a new entry. And I'm going to do Control Z. And now we see cross national cooperation and sans papier movement France. And when I press enter, there it is in the, in the index. Notice that the locators came right along with the entry. If the subheading begins with a conjunction like and or versus, intelligent flip will put it at the beginning of the new subheading. Macrex knows which conjunctions to move based on the ignored word list on the sort menu, option K. We'll talk about those options later. All right. So what if I've just made a main heading and a subheading, and now I need to make the subheading into a main heading of its own? Let's see. This is a very common sequence in indexing. Let's, let's say that I've, uh, let's find one. Well, let's just say that I came upon this Solidaire Unitaire Democratique, and, um, and I was in the middle of indexing a section about the Saint Papier movement. So I just made the subheading, and then it also needs a main heading. So I'm double posting this under itself as well as in a subheading. Very common sequence. So I'm going to press. Control Shift C or F2, and there is the subheading with its locators. There are other commands that invert and rotate multiple levels of subheadings. We'll be covering those in a future video. Another way to duplicate an existing heading is to use the table of authorities. Most of us call this the TOA. It has many uses, which I'll explain in a later video. But for now, I'm going to show you how to use it as autocomplete. So I'm going to turn it on now. OK, so I'm, now I've got the TOA turned on, I'm going to start typing an entry in ad mode. I'm going to type BRIT. Now, the TOA has popped up, and it has taken me to all of the entries I have made that start with BRIT. I can now uh, press Shift down arrow to, or up arrow to highlight the one I want. And let's say I wanted Brit British National Party. And I can bring the entry to the add line 
with Shift Control E, End, or Shift End. Guess which combination I use. Even though the directions at the top of the box give the end command, I have taught my fingers to use Shift Control E, which keep my fingers on the home keys. And there's British National Party ready to be added to. The TOA window can be moved and resized. The directions for moving it are right at the bottom of the box. Resizing happens in a different menu, which we'll cover later. All right, now, duplicating locators. When you're indexing several topics on the same page, you don't want to type the same locator over and over again. You can duplicate the last locator in the logical previous entry with Control N or F9. Uh, so let's see. Oh, there, let's grab Lynn AG from the TOA. And I'm going to say Control N. And there's the locator from that, the logical previous entry, which is dark at the top of the screen there. And I got that page 40. Note that this is the last locator in the string, not necessarily the last one you typed. For instance, in this index, we have end notes. So up here in the logical previous entry, I may have just typed 144, but that end note is the last one in the, in the string, so it's going to be the one that will come down if I press Control N. If you want to duplicate all of the locators, in an entry, use F11. There they all are. Now you know how to use the things that you typed before to create a new entry. Remember to choose one or two of these tools at a time to learn and add them to your, your collection of tools. I'll see you in the next video.